Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. I'm Yalik, and in today's Boom Beach video, we're going to make some things go boom. Now, specifically, I have been learning the 2-6 Heavy Zooka practice. Uh, there are, well, for one thing, the chicken uses it very extensively, and since it wasn't something I was familiar with, it took a while for me to get comfortable with it and it's a great strategy so now whenever i can i i try to make use of it very good on shield bases which at this level and above in the game you're going to see constantly however i have found in a few cases it has failed me so with this guy's base i have tried a 2-6 heavy zooka note the 12 heavies there and didn't now the beauty of a 2-6 Heavy Zooka is that there's a bit of protection and a bunch of damage behind it. But in this case, uh, I felt like I didn't have quite enough. And uh, going after this fella here, I decided to change it up a bit. So I tried to go with major structural changes here. We tried the 3.5 Heavy Zooka instead of the 2.6. And uh, I've had some pretty good success with that tonight. In particular because I have been working with this sort of GBE light drop on the beach. With the 2.6 Heavy Zooka you'll very frequently smoke the beach. And that does get expensive later on in an attack. In this case... Uh, there is a blaster on the beach, and that is never great when bullets are around. So I decided that I would drop the heavies first. So if that blaster is going to focus on anything at all, it should focus on the heavies, leaving me bullet. I've already had at least one attack this evening where bullet got pin, pinned down by one of the blasters, and that is a bad day. <laughs> I got to the back of that base and realized I had nothing left. I went to, to hit taunt and the taunt button was grayed out because bullet was dead on the beach the, the blaster had just locked him in place and um that was a wee bit disappointing i can tell you <laughs> so in this case there was a shock blaster on the beach uh got rid of that early on so really the things that i need to worry about with this attack most of them are taunted i've got some critters going out this way because this random rocket back here on my previous attack had killed a bunch of my girls and then shocking down here on these two shock tower shock blaster shock launcher just trying to buy a little bit more time with the critters there and you can see I've got a good number of girls still left bullets still out there and just one heavy out of the 18 just one just one yeah but bullets still had a fair bit of health left and, yeah, I mean, so the 2.6 delivers maximum damage, but the 3.5, in certain cases, can be somewhat better a choice, especially if you're trying to save GBE on your drop, which means you're going to let yourself be shot by things on the beach. And then I, the same thing ended up happening here. I had a couple of fails still working with the 3.5, but ended up getting the guy after all. not the best base design but he does have several ice didn't even bother with the shield just tried to clear some mines yes i did just use critters to clear some mines and that is a cardinal sin if you're using all zuka but in this case it doesn't really matter because there's really not any chance of keeping the delay not very important what's important is having enough heavies when you get to the back of the base to protect your zukas long enough to blast some stuff so again, dropping the heavies first, and you can see right up on the beach, two boom cannons and a machine gun, they're going to rip into the heavies pretty solidly, but that doesn't matter. Did a short flare just to get them grouped up so that they would walk a cleaner line, flared back to my spot at the back of the base, and my plan was to do like a regrouping flare under my triangle smokes messed up a tiny bit here I ended up flaring 
uh, that residence. <laughs> so it did a panic flare and another regroup onto the HQ. Uh, more critters trying to distract this tower over here. It shows that it's shocked, but it's not actually. It's slightly out of range. That's the glitch with bullet. Uh, so it's actually firing at my troops and in the attack before this. It was just ripping into my Zookas. So, a bit of distraction off to the right side there. And look how quickly, even with the lessened damage, 3, 5, 2, 6, even with the less, lessened damage, look how quickly they go through that shield. That is just a thing of beauty. And have bullet out there, but every single one of those heavies. Here, let's watch that again, but uh, we'll speed it up and just get to the part where they're taking that shield down. That's just a thing of beauty. I want to watch that again. Um, and boy, they're really eating it on the beach, just getting shot in the face repeatedly. And the flaring, and we can slow this down to one times. And just watch the shield. It's being eaten, eaten up like one third chunks at a time, actually a little bit more, like 40% at a time. And onto the HQ. And every single one of the heavies dies, but that doesn't matter. Still had some protection there with bullet. And tons and tons of damage left to deal. So, don't know what the moral of this story is exactly, except that, you know, try some different things. And I have just recently learned the 2-6, but... I'm also finding that the 3-5 can be a very, very effective strategy. And that is a... Any ice? No ice. What do we want to do with this guy? And the 3-5 is also a very viable strategy as well. In particular, if you want to save yourself GBE later on, like getting to the back of the base, you need more GBE for smokes. So, hey, you know, what the heck? Throw an extra boat of heavies out there and just let them, let them get blasted. Not a big deal. No ice. <laughs> Could occupy one of these just, like say this rocket here, just by throwing critters off that direction. That rocket too. Yeah, let's give this a run with RCZ. I'm we'll probably want to take that out, that out, and that. And the critters over there. We're gonna have bullet along with us. Let's give that a whirl. I am sure when I show up on other players' maps and they see that I have no ice at this level, they are very happy. I know that's how I feel when they show up on my map. So, yeah. Alright, let's make this quick here. Quick and painless. For me, not for him. That. Generally, if someone has no ice, I can pretty comfortably take out uh, three of the five major range towers. And in this case, I just realized he's helping me as well because he has no protos. Ah, uh, well, that being the case... And that's starting with pretty minimal GBE. I don't usually like to start that low. But... Sometimes we make an exception, I guess. Um, I'm going to taunt because bullet is right out front. Now, watching the range of that rocket, I would guess pretty soon we're going to have to go like that. And throw some critters out there. That was trying to get the mines a little sooner. How are those critters doing? Keep some more critters out over there. That should occupy... Th There's nothing shooting at the critters except that rocket, which doesn't seem ideal for him. But... Okay, you know, choices. And another taunt. And now we can shock the rocket. The, the rocket does handle the critters pretty quickly, but not going to end up. 
mattering because that was silly. Just to ha the nothing attacking but the rocket over there. Any wow, the gold reward. Did you see that? Look at this. This is incredible. I have uh, obviously with the gold tribe boost, so a sixty percent tribe boost. That is just a wonderful thing to have because if you're doing attacks and you're going to win, you're going to lose some. Uh, you, gold can become an issue, but I mean, all night long, five hundred and thirty-one thousand. This guy, three hundred and seventy-five. When I when I got this guy, four thirty-two. When I got this guy, three thirty-five. Four sixty-six. It is just a thing of beauty. May this tribe boost last with us forever. I know it won't. But, you know, don't mess with my fantasy. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up. Hope you have a great day. I'm Yalek. I got stuff to do. Take it easy.